The first step in using JB Weld as a solution to fixing a rust hole is to knock out all the old rust. Once you've knocked out the rust, you can grind this area clean and wire wheel this or sandblast it, whatever you can do to get it cleaned up in there, and make sure that it's knocked down below the original surface. The next step is to mix yourself up some JB Weld and cut a little patch that's going to fit right in there. So I'm going to take this JB Weld and I'm just going to spread it right in there around to make sure that my patch is going to stick to that JB Weld. And JB Weld sticks very well to freshly ground metal. Now I'm just going to take my patch and I'm going to stick it right in there like that. And that's it. Now I'm going to let this dry. JB Weld takes about, uh, about eight hours to really harden up. This is the original JB Weld so it does take some time to dry. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. After the JB Weld hardens, we're just going to grind off any excess and fill the low spots with body filler. And that's good. Now we're just going to mix up Hold on. Okay. Now we're just going to mix up a little body filler to fill the low spots. When this hardens, I'll be back to sand it. Now that the filler has hardened a little bit, I'm just going to use a cheese grater and cheese grate some of the excess filler off of here. Now I'm going to use this medium sized board to try to get the bobby line. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to go very lightly on the same slant as this bottom part and then I'm going to do the top part. I'm going to attempt to do that. These are usually pretty difficult to get right. And I'm just going to drag it right across there like that. And I don't want to go too far. And now I'm going to I'm going to work on the top. Try to get the same slant that they have. And then work the bottom. And the bottom has a little bit of a round, a roundness to it, but the top is a little sharper. Let me DA sand this out, throw some primer on it, and see what we have. I finished sanded the Bondo with 80 grit, D 
DA'd the area and primed it. And incidentally, this is just so my camera can focus. Anyway, this is the final result. I really can't think of a reason why JB Weld could not be a viable option for rust repair. It would completely seal the hole and it bonds very well to bare sanded metal. I would like to hear from you though, so feel free to comment one way or the other on what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video on using JB Weld to patch a rust hole, and if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.